Good evening. Now your STV news, including the headlines for air. The number of flu cases in Scotland more than doubled over the past week. That's according to figures published today. The data released by Health Protection Scotland showed 107 cases per 100,000 people. That's compared to 46 per 100,000 in the last week of December. Figures also showed 30 new patients needing treatment in intensive care. While health dominated this week's First Minister's questions, Nicola Sturgeon said Scotland's NHS was coping better with winter pressures than the rest of the UK. But Conservative leader Ruth Davidson blamed the First Minister for cutting hospital bed numbers. If there are fewer hospital beds and there are fewer social care places for the elderly, is it any surprise that we have a problem? So the pressures are higher, but nevertheless, Scotland's NHS remains the best performing NHS Absolutely. anywhere in the United Kingdom. The sister of a boy who died at an orphanage has told an inquiry he was buried without a headstone. That's despite promises from staff they would pay for one. Amory Carr attended Smilem Park in Lanark in the 1960s, along with her brother Samuel. In December, the Scottish Child Abuse Inquiry heard the boy died aged six after an E. coli infection. An investigation is underway after an 80-year-old patient was sent home from Orkney's Balfour Hospital in his pyjamas. Peter Ranger was driven to the ferry terminal in a taxi before being put on a ferry to the island of Sandy. NHS Orkney say they're looking into the incident. And the main headlines in air, a North Ayrshire Council youth worker who carried out sexual assaults on three young women has avoided jail. 23-year-old Paul Gillespie was sentenced to 300 hours of unpaid work and placed on the sex offenders register for two years. And South Ayrshire Council has been recognised for its work in supporting employees who are carers. The local authority picked up the award for their policies that help them balance life within and outside of work. That's all for now. Remember to join us for the STV News at 6. But first it's time for a look at the weather. Have a good evening. Goodbye. Sponsors STV Weather. Sponsors STV Weather.